morning. I feel like I very frequently start my vlog off sat right here, but there are limited places that I'm usually sitting and this is one of them frequently. So good morning, welcome to another weekly vlog. I have just got up and ready. I went on the longest run slash walk that I've done at all of lockdown this morning and I feel really, really good for it. I actually have a video coming fairly soon. I'm um, speaking a bit more in depth about like my fitness routine and like my jogging routine if there kind of is one but for the rest of the day i really want to focus on getting instagrams and i know this is so petty but like instagram is a part of my job in fact sometimes it's like more of a stream of income than my youtube is and i obviously i'm struggling a little bit right now with content ideas for instagram and for youtube but for photography especially because you can only really take pictures in your house um it's difficult so over the weekend i did some research on pinterest and found some photos that i kind of liked and wanted to create similar ones and also just experiment a bit with photography like i did my foundation degree and my a level in photography like i do know quite a bit about it and i don't put it to good use at all i just take selfies so I thought okay I want to have a bit of a play around and I want to get ready and take some nice photos that I can use for a while on my Instagram because I don't want to be doing makeup every day and taking a picture every day like I spend most of the week in leggings or hoodies or pyjamas like I don't want to get dressed every day so I thought I'd just have one afternoon where I have a play around with my camera I've got this set up here but <laughs> inconveniently inconveniently Unconvenient, inconveniently. The sun has just gone in and I really want it to be like sunny in the photos. It's forecast to come out at like 3 p.m. So I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna get all my other jobs done. Gonna get my editing done beforehand and then <clears throat> take some pictures. So yeah, that's my plan. Also just wanted to update you guys that yesterday I actually got this lamp delivered. Also ignore my nail, ew that's so gross. I'm about to uh, repaint them. But I got this lamp delivered because the light I had in here was copper and obviously the rest of the room is like silver and white. So this is from Next and my favourite thing is that it's just a simple touch of like anywhere on this thing. Um, so yeah, this costs 20 pounds. I'll leave a link to it down below because I just think it makes this look really nice that when it's on, it just makes this area feel really warm. Whereas the other lamp was more of like a desk light. So I have actually rehomed it to in here because I think it just matches this room better. I already have copper on here anyway. And it is like actually meant to be a desk light. So yeah, I haven't got rid of it. I've just swapped it because the light I had here was four pounds from Primark. And I bought it thinking, oh, what a bargain. But it was actually battery powered and it never even worked or turned on. So this one now lives in here and I'm very happy with how it all looks. So we're taking some photos with a mirror and it's honestly as if Lottie has never seen a mirror before. Watch this. Look at her. Lottie, it's you. <laughs> Where are you going? Are you going over the back of the sofa? It's you. It's you, look. <gasps> So I really haven't filmed very much today. In fact, I haven't filmed anything at all other than when we were taking the photos But that genuinely took like the whole afternoon because we took like literally 400 pictures um, And of which I think there's about seven so that's good But we've just had tea and now I'm actually gonna finish my paint by numbers This is what it currently looks like. I'm very happy with it actually If you watch the vlog last week, you'll know that I was doing it I got so many questions about where it's from. It's from the range and I also had a look at some in high home no not home sense hobbycraft but they're currently all out of stock from hobbycraft and the range the only place i could find them online was amazon so if you're interested in getting one check amazon but i'm gonna finish this one off because i just want to get it done it's very therapeutic and it's like the sun's going down in here and it's just a nice time to sit and do this after quite a productive day i'm pretty happy with how today's gone I actually think that looks sick and if you don't look at it close up so you can't tell it's a paint by numbers It just looks like I'm actually quite good at painting very content So it is now the end of the day I'm realizing I really haven't filmed very much and I'm actually gonna go to bed now But I did just do a face mask. I thought I would show you the one I just did if I can find it So I just did this face mask. It is the I'm not even gonna try and pronounce this. I would say Nicarara 
guy in coffee face mask basically this one here by the body shop and i just did that because my skin hasn't been great recently um but it's feeling a bit better it's feeling a lot smoother the face mask smells exactly like the coffee you get in starbucks though and it made me a little bit sad but i've had a pretty positive day today i'm really happy with everything i've got done i'll pop some of the photos i took on screen because i'm really happy with them my mum was an amazing help shout out to her because her photography has got so much better since we um started taking pictures for instagram like a year or two ago more than that actually she has got so so much better at photography today she was using my big canon camera and everything um so that was fun it was a good way to spend the afternoon and i'm excited for tomorrow because i'm actually going to be baking a cake because it's tom's mum and dad's silver wedding anniversary so i thought i'd bake them a cake um and drop it off at some point because they were meant to be on a holiday and obviously now they can't be so just trying to like cheer them up but also um i just like baking cakes so i'm gonna do that tomorrow i think but right now i'm gonna go and get ready for bed currently on netflix i am watching never have i ever i actually literally started this like yesterday and i'm already on a episode 10 but the episodes are only half an hour long which is literally perfect for me i've just been watching like one episode while i do my makeup i watched about three episodes while i was doing my um pay my numbers so i'm gonna watch the last one and then go to sleep is it really bizarre that i'm actually really obsessed with this lamp like i can't work out if i'm just becoming really sad in lockdown or if i just like interior design but i just really like the vibe in my room right now i just feel really like peaceful and content there's a couple of other things i want to do i think being in it a lot more is making me want to tweak things i want to change things and just like swap some prints around and like just not redecorate just like swap some stuff up and just feel a bit more like happy in it and this lamp did that so yeah now that i've all done about the lamp for about three minutes straight at the vlog i'm gonna go to bed and i will pick you up in the morning i'm shattered my legs currently kill from the walk i did this morning i'm so so excited to go to sleep good morning guys although i'm wearing the same cardigan i promise you it is actually now wednesday and as i said at the end clip last night we are actually spending this morning baking a cake and i'm quite excited about it we are using a cake mix a little bit of a cheat but we always are and personally i don't think there's anything wrong with that because you're guaranteed that it's going to taste okay if you don't make it from scratch especially if you're giving it as a gift but that's just because i'm not a very good baker so doing a classic victoria sponge and then later this afternoon we're going to ice it we're also jamming to some JLS when I say we I mean I because my mum is not a JLS fan but yeah my Spotify just randomly started playing it and I'm not complaining about it oh, <laughs> is this more embarrassing than pretending it's good I'm intrigued as to what's going to come on next because this is not my playlist yeah, well, then you can hacks as well. I'm hard what to have what and they just like 2010 hits <laughs> whoa <laughs> Oh mate, this is, we need a new one of these. This is from the 90s, isn't it? And if the lights are all out For another I'm gonna I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you Ooh. Oh, maybe there will be enough. They're just gonna be small, aren't they? I don't know if I've used the wrong size too. <laughs> I just got back from that walk and I'm now still in my gym gear making some lunch We actually got a delivery of halloumi Well, not just halloumi like in a cheese delivery We got halloumi and we've never actually cooked this before I've only ever had halloumi while I've eaten out So we're cooking this for the first time I didn't realize how bizarre it was But I've just got a little pan of halloumi to go in this pasta Which I reckon it's probably done to be honest dad Dad's helping me because I didn't know how to cook halloumi Yep, I am 20 Guys, this is the strap of my camera I just put it next to the hob for a second literally i must have finished filming that clip for like literally three seconds it caught on fire and burnt through the camera strap <laughs> honestly i'm laughing but i actually worry about me like imagine if i had my own house i'd have probably just burnt the kitchen down that was so dumb with me that was really stupid luckily we just had to like blow on it took for it to go out it's a tiny little flame but yeah i've never set anything on fire before now i don't have a camera strap so luckily i've gone through so many g7x's that i have a spare one upstairs with a strap on it so we're all good but okay. yeah that halloumi looks perfect can't believe it did that do you know what that is it the flame on that pan is licking the side of the pan it's too high so i'm very happy with this in here we have just plain pasta with halloumi cheese and a little bit of ham sweet corn onions and a little bit of spinach and then just tomatoes and cucumber uh seasoned with salt and pepper and i'm very content with this lunch i was in such a lazy mood i was like oh i might just like not have too much for lunch or just get something out of a packet and then i thought no i want to make a pasta salad so that's what i've done right so i want to do a little haul i'm currently wearing outfit number one so i'm filming 
coming over here so you can't see it. I just want to explain that I bought these things on Pull and Bear. I didn't really massively need them, but I just wish that I could go out shopping and then impulsively at 1am the other day I ordered off Pull and Bear. But I actually really like everything. Now, this is the first thing. This is not going to be to everybody's taste at all. Like, I am a bit on the fence about this. But it is this purple bodysuit and it has like mad shoulder frills. Like, literally crazy. And I know this is not going to be to everybody's liking. But my thinking was for like either a night out or just like a cocktail kind of bar but you can dress it down with jeans because I really like the idea of like a bodysuit and jeans and you guys know how I feel about purple so I like it but I do know a lot of people won't like this one it's not for everybody but I think it's kind of cool looking and I'm very happy with it I'll show you the other two items I just thought I'd do a quick try and haul now because I just got out of the shower so this is item number one. So I told you the next ones were a lot more ordinary. It's just this kind of wide sleeved jumper like sweatshirt thing because I actually realised when I cleared out my wardrobe that I don't have many long sleeve tops that don't have a hood or that are like proper thick woolly jumpers and I just wanted some long sleeve tops so I got this one um the reasoning the pure reasoning behind this is that this little emblem here says for surfers only enjoy the waves surf in paradise and earlier in the year I actually went to surfers paradise and this top just felt really fitting and on the sleeve oh, it must be this sleeve it says what does it say surfers only something like that it's just a bit oversized but it's comfy and it's good for lockdown and then this is the final one i absolutely love this it's like a wash gray i don't really know how you'd describe it other than that and then it says feeling like sunshine here and yeah it's just easy to wear basically i just wanted something to be able to lounge in that wasn't a hoodie and wasn't a jumper um because it's still kind of chilly but you know so i thought these were just cute i thought one day they could be like to wear over gym wear they could become pajamas they've got a lot of uses basically and both of the jumpers were from Pull and Bear's like eco range which I thought was really cool their website has this whole section where it's like recycled stuff or like part recycled or the items are all recyclable so the jumpers were from that and I really really like it I rate Pull and Bear really highly and I never ordered off their online shop before I usually just shop in store but would definitely recommend so I have just got sort of ready I'm not really doing any makeup today but, that, but then I also received the lovely delivery of this month's glossy box I speak about glossy box all the time I love it I've worked with them in the past this is not sponsored but I just posted the contents of this month's on my Instagram I've actually already emptied the box and put it all in like the drawers in my office so if you want to see uh, what I get every month in that make sure that you are following me over on Instagram however I definitely recommend checking glossy box out especially at the moment like I said this on Instagram a few weeks ago as part of a brand deal but I genuinely mean it like if you're looking for a little way to treat yourself every month the first box you can get for seven pounds and you get so much in it and I just think that right now like such a nice way of cheering you up like every time i get the delivery i'm like oh my god i wonder what's in it i'm so excited yeah i recommend checking them out i'm gonna go and pop the box away i like to keep these boxes to reuse to like gift stuff in just because they're always so beautiful like look at that look at that what the heck i would have that as a wallpaper <laughs> cute this cake is it's not the best cooked it's not the best iced but i'm pretty proud of the decorations on the top it says 25 years because it's for their silver wedding and i think i've done okay there in fact that's a thumbnail shot right there isn't it was that tiring work lottie was that hard work for you <laughs> it is now bedtime evening time whatever you want to call it it's 11 p.m and I just got off a Zoom call, I was going to say a Skype call, with Eve and Lydia and Liv. It was actually really nice. We didn't, like, have any specific reason to be on. We weren't doing a quiz, we weren't doing a game, we were just having a chat. And then, like, an hour and a half had gone by and I was like... <laughs> An hour and a half has gone by, which was actually really nice. It was just good to have a catch up. Talking about such random stuff, but I've got a really bad headache now. Like I felt like coming on at like 7 p.m. I was doing an Instagram live and I was like, my head's really hurting. And then now it's like really hurting. Also, I've just seen this freaking moth. Last night I was just about to go to bed and this moth was like buzzing around my face. So I was like, okay, I'll just catch it. And then it went and I couldn't find it. And I've just seen it again and now I've lost it again. So annoying. 
Anyway, I'm going to go to bed because I've got a headache, so I'm just going to read the book I'm currently reading for a little bit, which is The Librarian of Auschwitz. I'm not going to lie, this is quite a slow book, like I haven't really loved it, it's been slow going. The end is getting good, so it has been worth sticking it out, but it's definitely not a light-hearted read and it's also a bit of a slow read, but if you're interested in like the history of the Second World War and like the details of it, this is, yeah, probably for you, but I'm going to try and finish it this week because I only have about 100 pages left. I'm very tired, so I'll pick you up in the morning. So today is a really, really nice day weather wise so i have decided to tie dye because i bought some dye last week on amazon i've also got a little helper who really needs to stay out the way unless she wants to end up tie dye and i bought some dye i bought four different colors but i actually don't know oh bubba I actually don't really know how to do it. I did used to do this when I was younger. As I said, I was a really creative person when I was younger. Um, and I used to tie dye all the time. But I can't remember how you do it. So I've got my dye in this little spray because I thought a mist effect would look really cool. But I don't know if I've dissolved it right. I don't know if this is the right amount of dye. Um, it's purple, but inside I also have blue, pink and grey. And I've got two tops I want to try it on. So I'm going to do the first one now with you guys. And with the dog apparently, Lottie. Come on, stay back, look. Are we going to take this out now then, yeah? Ah, 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 ah. Get out of it because it's it's not for you. This really isn't going to work with the dog with me, is it? This is not going to work. I know you think you're helping, but you're not. You're not. I also don't have any elastic bands, so I'm using some hair bubbles because I figured tie-dyed hair bubbles wouldn't be too bad. Alright, we've gone for a simple design of um, just tying up random bits, and now we're going to spray it. Oh boy, I'm not ready. Is it a fine mist? Is it a jet? Okay. Ooh, interesting. Oh, funky. Okay, so I think I'm done with this colour, but I'm not going to just leave it at one colour. My only issue is then I have to keep making up more of this and getting rid of it because we only have one of these spray things. So that seems like a huge waste. So the next time I'm going to do a lot less liquid. But I'm actually going to tie dye a different top first because um, I've just remembered another one that I've got. Not either of the two that I already mentioned. I'm now doing blue on the back of this welcome to travel t-shirt and I am obsessed with it it just looks so sick especially because you can get such fine little dots like it's just a really cool speckled design so next job of the day not that tie dyeing was a task I actually really wanted to do that um is still to continue chasing up airlines I honestly did not realize how much stuff I had already booked for this year until it's come to having to get a refund for absolutely everything yeah so I need to sit on the phone again and then I also just have loads of other random bits and bobs that I haven't done um I've got a few emails to do I just finished my book the librarian of Auschwitz it's actually back on the shelf the ending was a lot better than the beginning of the book um and it was definitely like heartfelt eye-opening sad to be honest yeah i recommend it if you're interested as i already mentioned the other day anyway now i'm gonna get on with the stuff i have to do i feel like this vlog has been very scatty like just all over the place because to be honest i'm not doing a lot and the things that i am doing are just like mundane <laughs> very mundane ah anyway let's call our canada that was actually surprisingly quick. It took me, honestly, 15 minutes to call Air Canada and to get the money back from a hotel that my parents were staying at in Barcelona because I don't know if any of you remember, the lighting in here is awful. For Christmas, I booked a weekend in Barcelona for my parents, which is obviously now not happening. Um, I kind of forgot about that because obviously like it wasn't in my calendar for the year. So I was like, nah, I think I've got everything sorted. And then yesterday it was like, uh, your reservation in the hotel has been canceled. And I was like, God, yeah, I need to sort that out. So sorted that I've sorted the flights and i've just filmed and posted a tiktok even though my hair looks like this so yeah productive and i'm happy with that that gets a big chunk of my to-do list out the way because i thought that would take ages it's the birds that make me laugh every yeah. week they get so scared i'm dressed as a proper farmer lookalike today i absolutely love this shirt i never ever wear it though because it's always at the back of my wardrobe and i forget i have it however today is a bank holiday friday it's actually ve day which i think is really cool we are heading off on a family dog walk we're gonna go up to the westward if you haven't gathered by my vlogs by now the westward is like a huge 
huge piece of land it's not really a park it's definitely not a park i don't know what it is it's just a massive natural open space but we're gonna go and walk the dogs there and then i think we're ordering a pizza later just having a bit of a chilled friday to be honest i do actually still have quite a lot of stuff to do today but really good weather the reason i'm wearing this is because i don't trust that it's not going to be windy and otherwise i'd be cold however i do really like this outfit and um hopefully i'll be able to take this off and tie it around my waist Harry's got a new toy. This is how today's going because it's such nice weather in the garden. Not working. We've got the bubbles out. Just took some sick Instagrams though. Look really nice to be fair. Wow. <gasps> That's so beautiful. So, as I already mentioned, today is a VE day, which marks the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War, which I'm pretty sure you guys all know, and I've spent the majority of the afternoon just in the garden. To be honest, the weather's been really lovely, but it's actually clouded over now. So, I've come back inside because I need to edit the vlog, do some worky bits, but the highlight of my day, this was just, honestly, it was so sweet, was one of our neighbours is really elderly, and she's living by herself, so we took some baking and just left it on, like, the doorstep and knocked on the window and we could see through the window that she was just inside watching the VE day stuff going on on the telly and it just blew my mind because like, she would have been there and I just proper deep thought about it and I was like she literally was there when that happened and now she's here by herself and it just made me so sad so we took her some cake um and that honestly was the highlight of the whole day and I feel like I sound like a wet wipe for saying that but it just blows my mind that those people are like still alive that there are some people that literally lived through that I have not stopped thinking about it all day that is 75 years today and there's some people one of them being my neighbor that lived through that it just is craziness anyway I thought I would give an update on the tie-dye moving swiftly on turns out this sort of failed they just look a bit mucky like they all just look really dirty i think this one turned out the best so this is made in the 90s but like do you see what i mean but as in like there is nothing strong about this tie dye it's just like there and i don't love it this one's even worse it just looks like it's gone through the wash with like really 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 bad stuff um so i think i either might try and re-dye them with just the blue dye because the blue dye came out the strongest and do it a bit more properly because i didn't really read the instructions like the blue in this actually does look all right but yeah that was a fail i was gonna film a tiktok out of it and like upload a tiktok but it was not successful so there will be no tiktok but you know you've got to try these things you've got to experiment luckily i've got enough clothes to try again and i've got enough dye to try again so i could definitely do it again yeah that's kind of where the day is at now i'm gonna go and get my brother to talk to you about something very exciting right yeah. So I think there's two minutes on the memory card before the memory card will die So quickly explain the whole concept of what you're about to say because I haven't said anything Right, so me and my mate have started a podcast um, uh, Sort of just to discuss based around school life But then it's also like obviously cover other aspects of it So um, mm -hmm. we have like a special guest on each week I'm going to be on next week's episode yeah, Molly's on next week's Guys episode. honestly this is so professional Like tell them where they can listen to it so you can listen to it on our YouTube channel, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcast, and SoundCloud, and they are all under the name After The Bell. Yeah, it's called After The Bell. I'll put the logo on screen here. His friend knows how to put it all onto Spotify, like, properly, yeah. as if it's, like, professionally My done. My other friend's done all of the, like, Technical admin stuff. side of it, and I'm just, I just speak, really, to be But <laughs> I will link it down below. Go and give the first episode a listen. I will be on next week's episode. They're coming out every... Every... Friday at 4 p.m. There you go. This is Harry's current lockdown project, but it is very, very good. We've done it really well. You thank and your friend. Much. Also, thank you to Tom for making the logo. So oh please. yeah, Tom did the graphics. If you guys ever wanted any graphics, I'll leave Tom's links below as well. Mm. But yeah, that's that. I just thought I'd get Harry to tell you because it's very cool. It's something a bit different, and it's very Absolutely. professional looking. So podcast go and listen to harry i am just editing this vlog now and i realized i haven't ended it so i'm gonna end it here if you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up i know it was very sporadic very all over the place um and not a lot of structure i'll try and make next week's vlog a little bit more ordered i'm sorry this one did jump around a lot but my week has just been very like flat so i just picked the camera up if and when but if you have enjoyed it for whatever reason give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and i shall be back with a very popular video at the moment on youtube on tuesday so excited to film it tomorrow i can't wait so subscribe to see that and i shall see you all then bye guys